Hey! Hey there! John here, and I'm back in the Eastman Discovery Lab at the Hands-On Discovery Center with a little bit of a... making sense of science, I guess you could say, because we're literally using pennies for science today. I happen to have a, a couple pennies here that are kind of past their prime. They're looking a little dingy, a little gross. The reason for that is, especially with these older copper pennies, well, newer pennies are just copper coated, but when the copper interacts with air, oxygen in the air, it actually turns into a carbon oxide. It, it oxidizes and turns this really nasty kind of dingy color. But I have a way using science at home, you can actually clean up these pennies. I'm going to take a couple of them and just set them here on this uh, towel here, this coffee filter, and that'll act as our control. See if we actually make any difference here. Now to these pennies, I'm just going to dump them in a little bowl, add one of our favorite ingredients, a little bit of vinegar, and that low acidity in the vinegar will actually start to break down that oxidation. But to really jump start the chemical process, take a little bit of table salt and just add it to it as well. There's no secret mixture or secret ratio here, but usually if you use about a tablespoon of salt for every half cup of vinegar, that's excellent, perfect. Let that sit in there for a couple minutes. Actually, no, I don't have time for a couple minutes. It's only been in there for a couple seconds. Give them a quick uh, rub down, kind of dry them off there, and look, oh my gosh. These guys were just about the same color going into the bath as our control group here, but already you can see that beautiful, ooh, that one's pretty shiny. Just a couple seconds in this vinegar and salt bath, and they're looking brand new. They're looking awesome. But if you let that reaction go for way too long, or even like a couple days, the vinegar, the acidity in the vinegar, will actually start chemically producing a new chemical on the surface of the penny. And some pretty cool effects happen. To do that, all you have to do is take a paper towel and set it out on a plate, pour just a tiny amount of salt there on top of the paper towel, and then soak the vinegar into the paper towel. It doesn't have to be like, soaking wet, just enough to really hydrate that, uh, kind of moisten it up a little bit. Then take your uh, pennies, actually let's use, let's use the ones that we cleaned. There we go, we've got one, two, three, and four, and let's throw another one down there. And set this aside for maybe a couple hours to a couple days, and the chemical reaction is quite stunning. Three days later. Through the magic of TV. Whoosh. Several days later, you're going to start noticing some uh, greenish crystals start growing on your actual pennies. This is a chemical reaction that's producing a, a compound called malachite. And if you've ever seen old copper statues, like there's a big lady standing in the New York Harbor, she used to be a nice coppery color. The Statue of Liberty has actually turned green because of the oxidation, the reaction with uh, oxygen in the atmosphere. Here we're actually producing this much, much, much faster, and now I have some really pretty green pennies that I can try to spend at the supermarket. So I'm gonna go try to do that, but first of all, guys, if you liked this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new video. Also, be sure to look in the description below. We'll be having some standards listed there that have to do with the a project that we did today. Also, you can find out how you can help support our channel and help us keep the science alive. But I'm off to the supermarket, guys. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Uh,